Hey everyone, Johnny Nose here, playing some Project Zomboid version 37 with Hydrocraft, and in this episode, we're gonna go out and just do some general looting. After the last episode, I could use... my brain could really use a, a rest. <laughs> that was a crazy episode, we must have built everything. Everything is all cleaned up, um, I waited until uh, little Linda here is at minor pain, so she doesn't have any uh, negatives. She still is nursing these two wounds, so gonna be uh, gonna be a little on the careful side uh, you know what we can make you know we're almost at the point where we can start doing biogas maybe we can do yeah we'll pick up one of these uh, pick up one of these uh, barbecues Let's do it Let's see this is like 20 don't have to go too far to bring it back either oh it's only uh, 15 George four guy barbecue I never read that before Easy. Just shove the barbecue right up, uh, right into your dog. Yes, inside your dog. There we go. Uh, let's bring it back and uh, get it all set up. That way we don't have to use a campfire anymore, which would be, I mean, it's not too bad. But uh, we'll have to wait, we'll have to wait before we can start using this all the time until we have a, um, I think it's a biogas pump. I think that's what it's called. Never made one of those yet, so that's going to be fun for me. Throw this down and uh, re put the propane tank back inside. We probably need to find one more propane tank, one for you know while the biogas is fully filling, and then one for the barbecue. But yeah, that was a nice little addition to our little place here. All right, let's um let's kind of head north. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is to do a, a good amount of zombie slaughter. Like we need we need lots of ropes. Uh, we could use some more seeds from the mysterious seed packets. There's all sorts of things that we could do. I don't think I'm gonna like pinpoint what we need to pick up, but we do need to pick up two things. We need to pick up a spatula, which we probably found a million times, and we need to pick up some boots. So both of those should be pretty easy to find. I just don't know what the zombie population has been. We've been cooped up in our, our little base for so long that I don't know... And it kind of worries me that there's no zombies around. They're like all congregating in the same place. So we'll, you know, we'll generally move to the west. You know what? Actually, screw that. If there's a gigantic horde of that sort, I don't want there to be an alarm anywhere near my base. So I'm going to just disregard all of these houses and kind of head more towards the northern side of, uh, of Muldra. There we go. We finally got some, uh, got some zombies coming on our way. At three of them, no problem. Yeah. Little Linda gets to do some more killing. Getting that slowdown again. Uh, there was a mention of it in the uh, the latest Mondoid. Where they're talking about uh, frames being lost. I'm sitting there talking about making rope and I forget to do it. Whoa, she sped up really quick. Oh, yeah, you never know exactly how fast. Wow, look at that knockback. That was crazy. You never know exactly how fast a zombie is until they put their their arms up. And even then, it's if the zombie is pushing against another, it will, it will slow down, obviously. So, go ahead and get some rope. This doesn't take too long, so I'm not going to skip it each time I do it. Won't take too long. Look, that's it. That's all the time it took. Oh, energy bar. Let's grab that. I got swassages at home, but it's always good to get some non-perishables. Uh, it looks broken. We don't have one of these cars. 292. Oh, a gas can. Yes. All right, we can start looting houses now. It's been such a long time since we have looted houses. Actually, I, I don't, I don't loot houses as much as I used to. I think because the, the different shops have more. More than I ever need. Whoa, here they come. Here they come out of the bushes. We have no idea how many are in there, but it looks like three. It's like just a small number. Just a small number. Just gonna strip every zombie in existence. Hi, you got some clothes? You got some clothes? I'll take your clothes. The other thing I gotta be careful about, though, is I do need, I think, pants and uh, sweaters for the fire suit. So 
I may want to keep a couple of them on me. Let me, uh, let me take a look at that. I know where it is. It's in engineering. I don't need to cut this. Engineering, where's engineering? Why isn't this alphabetical? It drives me nuts. Uh, let's see, exactly. We need two pants and two sweaters. So we'll keep that in our, in our dog. Alright, we're clear here. I'm just a little bit worried there's some more zombies over there. Alright, just checking to see if there's, uh, something we haven't read yet. Man, good old, good old house looting. Oh, mysterious seeds, very good. What did we get? We got bean seeds. Yay! <laughs> what I'm really looking for, if you've you've seen my uh, streams, is uh, I'm really looking for hemp so that we can make um we can make linen, which is gonna allow us to make our own um peach seeds. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like peach. Ooh, salami. I love salami. You guys know I love salami. I'm gonna be picking up some other stuff too, just so that I can melt them down. Let's see, sunflower seeds, cherry candy. Now, the cans are actually really good because they produce tin cans, obviously. So, and a quick meal. Not a great meal, but pretty decent. But those tin cans are gonna help us make bronze, which uh, will make us, will allow us to make, uh, you know, some uh, bullet casings. We're gonna need to make a lot of bullets. I think that's the, the next thing I'm gonna do. Uh, or, or the next looting session is going to be that. It's gonna be... I'm gonna make as many shotgun shell boxes as I can, and I will, uh, then go to town. I'm gonna try to make a hundred. Hundred boxes of, uh... Hundred boxes... of shotgun shells. Just keep going. So let's see here. Any boots inside here? We got thick jeans. Actually acts as a, um... as armor, but... Another one and a half that I don't want to have to worry about. So we have one pants! A weird... Weird little angle. Funny angle. Yeah, I really should be doing dismantling the TVs and whatnot too. But uh, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. That, that last... that last video just... Tore my heart out. <laughs> I'm, I want to just do some regular all looting. Until the end of the weekend here. I think I got one more episode I can do. Well, this one. Or it's, uh, it's weekend time. Alright, let's not die on the last episode of the week. This will be good. We'll get, uh, plenty of, uh, accuracy and... Looks like we're about to get, uh, maintenance. Whoa! Hello! Someone's a little fast. Let's pull these, uh, fast shamblers away. There's another one. This one's a fast shell, but she doesn't have her hands up, which means you don't know how fast she is until she, she gets to us. There it is. I was waiting for her. Yeah. Survival axe is so hard to finish off zombies when they start getting pushed back too far. There we go. There we go. Come on, we can kill this one. There we go, we got one. Huzzah! Ooh, got a crawler. Oh. It looked like it looked like she finished her animation, but she was just too far. There we go. What we're looking for maintenance skill. Very good. Let's see, can we get this guy? Nope. See how far they get pushed back now? I was saying earlier about the fact that um, the more strength you have and the more um, accuracy you have, the more they get pushed back, and it actually makes it harder for you to kill them all. But if you get a nice rhythm like this, you can just keep swinging for the fences. Whoa, she was fast. Man, she was fast. Wow, they're so fast! There's four of them. Oh! Oh, that was close. That was scary. That one was scary. I'm just trying to practice with the survival axe a little bit. I don't know why I'm not capable of killing big packs with the survival axe. Everything else I can do it. Like I can pull out a butter knife and take out this whole whole pack with no problem. But the survival axe, I guess it's just look at that knockback. It's insane. I mean, the survival axe is definitely the if you want to skill up. Uh, I was just moving slow there, but I think it was just that that general slowdown. Yeah, knock that guy back. Then get a hit out of. Oh! Man, this guy's so fast! 
It's funny, like, the worse off your character is, the easier it is to kill zombies. I don't understand it. But the whole point is, if you're stronger and you do a shove, you're gonna be pushing them off you, which gives you a chance that if you get latched onto, you... Look at that knockback! It's so crazy. This is probably what, what Adrian was talking about. You have a better character, it's just... They just don't fall down. They just get knocked back instead. Come on, fall down. Oh. Oh. That was very risky. That was a very risky move. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at that. Look at that pushback. Alright. That took a long time. Ooh, a pistol. Nice. Go ahead and collect some sheet rope. And then we'll search the rest of the corpses. Ah, just good old zombie killing episode. I, I, I mean, I, you know, it was funny. I was planning this whole thing out with the alternating crafting and uh, looting videos for you guys. So it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't just be me crafting all the time. But it's starting to be more for me. <laughs> like, I need this. I need this so bad. All right. And the music's so loud. Probably yelling into the mic. All right. Let's open this place up. Come on. What is our strength at right now? Well, it's almost four. Almost there. Screw it. All right. Now, I don't know if an alarm's gonna start because this music's so loud. Oh, the music, the, the volumes of the music are so different. Like, there's some that are like, you can barely hear it. And then all of a sudden you get... <laughs> it's like, hey, Jesus. All right, tomato seeds, uh, ch chicken knife. <laughs> I don't know why they thought that was a chicken knife. All right, we're gonna start collecting uh, forks and like uh, baking pans as well. A bit of non-perishable food would be nice too. We get some dog food, some forks. Yes, I like this part of the game where it's like, oh, you're good to go. Wow, look how many calories that is. I, I must eat all the honey. Just gonna partake in a large jug of honey for 3,000 calories worth of, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely gain some weight off of that one. All right, just a quick check. Sounds like we got someone banging on the door over here. One inside? Nope. Nobody inside. All right, now we're looking for a boot. Boots. No! This only gives you a plastic if you dismantle it. I'm gonna keep closing these doors so I, I, I know to come back here next time. I should probably start using the map too. Like, there's these maps you can pick up now and you can make notes in them. That weird slowdown again, just from one zombie. I mean, there's obviously a bunch around here, but still, it's very bizarre. But uh, there was mention of it in the Mondoid, something to do with like frame loss or something. But yeah, it's funny though. It just feels like the game slows down. It doesn't feel like I'm losing frames. So I don't know what that's all about. Whoa! Hello. Hi. Didn't think you were that close. Another energy bar. More rope. More rope. I'm gonna start skipping this so you guys don't have to watch it. Oh wow, this is a, um, oh this is a, uh, what's it called? A boarded up house. You don't see that type of loot table unless it's a boarded up house. Celtic folklore. Runestone. Oh my goodness, am I gonna be a wizard? Am I gonna be a wizard? I still have to keep checking these just in case I uh, I miss one, just like that Celtic one. Another box of shotgun shells. I'm just gonna grab all of this stuff because I, I just want to eat out of these uh, cans so that I can get at the tin cans so I can recycle them. Okay, another. Ooh, look at this. This shotgun is actually the uh, configuration that I'm gonna go with. Choke tube foo, full, foo, choke tube foo, and uh, ammo straps. Nice. Get all this junk here. About halfway way there. Oh man, look at all this stuff in here. We're gonna be we're gonna be eating for a while now. I mean, we already are with the uh the piggy piggies. Get some pain meds real quick. Actually that reminds me. Oh yeah. 
That reminds me, let's just keep that door closed for now. See if we have to clean these things. Nope. Don't need to clean it. I really should get another bandage. I'm gonna keep my eye out for another bandage so I don't have to keep doing this every time. Oh, gotta clean this one. Gotta clean both of these now. Disinfected again. There we go. Back to normal. Alright, let me put all this junk away. Doop, doop. I think that's it. Not that much junk. What am I talking about? Alright, let's fill our canteens everywhere we go. Alright. Already looked in that one. Anybody in here? Oh. No? Anybody in here? I do see an armoire. Video game for electronics. Small plastic bin. I think I'm good with small bit plastic bins now. But I'll get one last one. Oh yeah, that's where we were. Alright, let's move on. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Well, the cool thing is, is that, um, you know, I, I know I'm skipping a lot of stuff that I should be dismantling, especially like the electronic stuff. But, um, what's better for electrical skill is just to, you know, pick up these radios and just dismantle all of them and then rebuild your own. I mean, that is way better than just, you know, w you know, putting yourself at risk by dismantling. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna need to do that to get the level one and all that stuff, but you don't really need to do it the whole way through because it's kind of a waste. Waste of your life. Put you in danger. All this stuff we're gonna pick up now. This shelf, yep, it's got nothing on it. Okay, not anything in here. Gotta always check, always check the freezers for any, um, soy milk is fresh forever, delicious. Always check for cold packs if uh, you're, you see a uh, refrigerator, because you're gonna need those for some of the science stuff. All right, anything else in here? Any uh, bathroom zombies? Oh god, I hate it when it's like this. The one like right there. Uh, red hair color. I'm looking for blonde hair color. All right, good. Move on. I haven't found a spatula or a uh, or a pair of boots yet, but hopefully we'll find some. Like we got someone banging on the door when the window's open. Oh, probably nothing in here. That's okay. We'll check it out. Not climb through. That would be bad. Let's do something stupid and just jump through the window, huh? There we go. Hey. Wow, it took that guy a long time to notice me. That was funny. Oh, he's not dead yet. Come on. Come on, Johnny, wake up. It's the zooming stuff, it's crazy. I don't know what it is, it's like my, my mouse is like really sensitive. Like first it like skips over everything, then it's like super sensitive all the time once I get it fixed. I'm not used to it being fixed. Oh right, yeah, I did think there would be anything in here. That's okay, it's searched, keep it open. Nothing worth getting in there. So the further north we get, the closer we're gonna get to that huge horde, so I'm gonna take it easy for a little while. Unfortunately, our dog is probably too heavy to drop, so we're not gonna be able to swap to the two-handed weapon, the, um... The hedge cutter. Hedge trimmer. Irex de de uh, dish? Dirk -a -dirk -a -dir. All right, no, uh, cold pack. Here's a spoon. A butter knife. Ah, oh, no spatulas. Come on, give me some spatulas. I need to be able to... I need that for, uh... Some distilling stuff. I also, th I think I need, I need, yeah, I do need one for the, um, I was in here already. That happens when I don't close the door. Alright, let's head on this way. So I do need a spatula for the fire suit, so I need to pick up one of those. I was like, I was kind of overlooking it, I was like, ah, oh, I got a spatula. I'm like, no, no, I don't. I don't have a spatula. Look at me walking away from some nails. So full of myself, it's gonna get me killed. Yeah, this is gonna get me killed right here. Oh, oh, what the heck? Well, he got it. He got a hit on me, but that was weird. I had the right angle, but didn't work. But I, uh, he got a hit on us, but he didn't break the skin. That was super lucky. Never do that, guys. Never. Ugh. All right. So do I have all these books? Yep, yeah, I've already read them. All right, we're looking for spatulas. 
Johnny needs a spatula. Corn tortillas, cooking pot. Oh, here's somebody. That small battery. Wow, look at all the stuff in here. And you should always pick up the stuff that's jarred too. That way, when you eat it, you get the jar. Make your own. A little vinegar. Too big. There we go. Another one here. I don't know if I ever need a measuring cup. Eyes are not accustomed to looking for spatulas. <laughs> I probably missed two already. I love it when you guys tell me that I missed something. Full pack in there. Chocolate filled donut. I hope I can make my own donuts. I gotta be able to make my own donuts. Because if I'm not gonna be able to, that's that's depressing. That's just depressing. I gotta make me some delicious donuts. Alright, let's get some more. I hear a female zombie somewhere close by. Tell. Hear her kind of walking. Hear her breathing. Styling foam. Sty oh, there she is. Another one, too. As far as it doesn't make any noise. Right. See you down. Oh, look at this. This is like this is like old school, like Project Zomboid. Look through all the houses. Not gonna get all the big stuff. The other thing that I'm hoping to run into at some point is maybe some more magazines. Like I don't have the herb herbalist, the herbalist uh, magazine yet. That'd be a nice one to get in case you want to eat, you know, live off of berries for a while. But I don't think we're gonna need to. Just it's nice to complete everything. Not getting the tooltips. All right, nothing there for us. How about in the box? Ooh, steel pipe. Yes. Weed whackers. Let me see what you get when you dismantle weed whackers. I think you just get like two blades. No, I actually get some more stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Get a large electro motor and an LED. Never actually needed to use an electro motor yet. I mean, like one. Okay, looking for energy bar, pistol, kind of, uh, it's got nothing on it, that's alright, we'll use it to repair. Oh, we're full. Well, we'll fill up the Alice pack as well. I mean, we are so, so lazy now that the vehicles are in, like, oh, I only want to go looting if I got vehicles. Alright. Let's see, anything, a oh, copper kettle, take that. Corned beef, a Dutch oven, hmm. <laughs> Medium battery, spoon, and vinegar. Good stuff. One second. I need to turn this music down. I don't know what's going on, but the music sounds like it's blasting at me. Still loud. Ah, the silence. I really need to remember to turn the music off so I can throw the, uh, the jazz on here. You guys can't tell when I cut. <laughs> when I cut the, the video, there was one, uh, there was one set of cuts in the last video. And the music was like, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> like, sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. That house doesn't have anything we need. Doesn't have anything we need. Terrible. You know, this is actually where most of the zombies are, or at least the last time we were here. Ooh, there's a pretty picture in this one. An alarm? Nope. No alarm. Good. I wonder if we, uh, we, we spent enough time away from that area that it just redistributed. Well, you can never be so sure until you look at it. There's some zombies on their way over here. Spoon, yeast. Come on, no one, no one has a spatula? Come on! Apple juice. Delicious. A juice box. Gulp, gulp. Okay. I'll grab this, just because it's really small. They're walking. If you hear walking, that means they're super close. Boots. Give me boots. Get another drawer. No boots. Just socks. Just socks and other stuff. Industrial mechanics, rubber working. The, the main problem is I picked up so many books at once that I don't know what I have versus what I don't. 
All right, let's get a pretty picture. Pretty, pretty picture. What do they call this the futon? They call it a futon. That's not a futon. That's a... They call those things. Not a futon, is it? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's so smart to say that's not a futon. That's a... I don't know. Oh. Anyways, let's go check to see what's going on over here. Kind of expecting there to be a gigantic horde over here, but I guess not. Well, let's go for a little run then, shall we? Let's let's go for a jog, and we're gonna go south. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the the bookstore, as well as the police station. Yeah, look at this. It's it looks like normal zombie distribution. That's beautiful. All right, so we're just gonna run south for a little while. You guys probably don't want to watch me run. I'm just gonna avoid all the zombies. And uh, we're gonna... I'll stop until we get on over to um, the... what's it called? Police station or the... Uh, it's the bookstore. The bookstore is gonna be first. I just want to go check to see if I can make a spatula. I would imagine you should be able to make it given all the other stuff that you can make, but apparently there is no recipe for it. Alright, I think this is the bookstore here. There's quite a few zombies here. Let's see. I mean, not a lot, but... Enough to worry me if I have the, uh, oh, see, that's how they fall. They, that's how they used to fall. Like that. Oh. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This may be a little too much for a survival axe, but let's do it. Make sure we don't run into anything else. Let's really separate the fast shamblers from the, from the slow guys. Can't push these guys down. Come on. Oh. It's hoping to get a second kill in there, but it's all right. Whoa. Yeah, see, before I could actually strike twice. I hit them and I can see that they're falling over. Yeah, the pushing is more reliable than than striking. But look look at that knockback. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I think, oh, whoa, I didn't realize that one was so close. She dead. She dead. Uh, greedy shot. Greedy shot. Wow, that was the we wow, there's that slowdown again. Oh. I guess it needed my survival axe to be broken to, uh... Oh, God. I'm not used to this pack being so full. There we go. There we go. A little turnaround. The survival axe looks pretty decent in terms of condition. Come on, fast shamblers. Come on out. That one's a fast one, too. See her coming. There she is, too. I don't know if I finished explaining what I was explaining, but before I could just swing once and then... Whoa! That was... Look how fast they are! That's some speed... Oh, there's... Uh, you know what? As soon as I start pushing... That's when the game slows down. That's really weird. Oh my god! Why are these guys so fast? Like, these are most- all of these are almost fast shamblers. That's strike. Pushing's scary. I mean, I, I know I can get three of them. Whoa! That was close. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to just peel these guys off. This is gonna take too long. I'm already at 30 minutes, and I don't think I need to edit anything out, so... Let's go to the bookstore, but we haven't found anything what we're looking for. Right, that wasn't the best way to pull away from a, a group of zombies. They're probably still on my trail. Yeah, they are. Let's see. See if I can run into run into the police station real quick because I, I kind of know where I last saw the boots, but it it's hard to tell if I, it's hard to remember if it was a game prior to this one or this game. Uh, that was really bad. Ah, oh, that's no good. Oh, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> there were a lot inside. So let's see if we can get on over to the um. Do a call out. Slowly creep. These will see me if their sight is good enough. Like most of their sights are good enough. Okay, let's just go through here. 
Gotta love that erosion mod. So many more places to hide. Okay, just keep backing up. Into another horde. Alright, that should be okay. How am I freaking out? Alright, cool. Looks like we lost him. Alright, I might have been able to pull them. Oh no, those guys have some good sight on them. But at least they're split up. At least they're split up. That's all that matters. How many? Oh my god, never mind. What are these, like, super zombies? Like, they're all, they're all, like, high-quality zombies. Fresh, fresh off the bite. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go around again. Okay, we're definitely out of line of sight now. I'm gonna do do this nice and nice and quiet. I think I'll just skip until we get to the uh, police station because I'm gonna go real slow. Oh no, he's, he's screw it. I mean, you know, this is the same thing that was happening to me the last time, and I guess I'm just not. Not used to having such a low sneak. I've got to uh, be a little bit more sneaky. All right, let's hide through here, then cut back around again. This looks good. I hope. All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, there's still too many of them near the police station. Man, look at that! They just see me from millions of miles away. Yeah, I guess I guess that's my problem. I gotta get my sneak up. And uh, yeah, I'm just not used to it. I mean, Linda's a pretty decent character, but sneaky, she's not. Yeah, we should be able to take this little group out. We gotta see how many are left in the uh, police station. I just feel like there's one behind me. Ever since that, since that really fast one crept up on me, I have like no faith in my own ability here. Okay, we got a little exertion. But man, do you see that? We, we've been like fighting all day long. And we're just now getting exerted. No, he's already dead. Did you see the blood spurt? Or how many more are coming up from there? Oh, look look how slow these guys are. And none of them are dying, but at least I'm getting some XP every hit. Four XP to be exact. Oh, that doesn't bother me none. Doesn't make for the most entertaining zombie killing video though, but that's alright. Oh, that guy's that one's really fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on out. Come on out from the ho Oh, Nelly. Looked like she was gonna fall, but didn't gauge that one very well. What a huge difference it is with no, with just a little bit of exertion. All right, let's go ahead and lose these guys now. Ugh. Nice and slow. Now we gotta get out of line of sight again. Well, if I can see them, they can see me. Alright, now we walk. Now we walk. Alright, cool. Let's see what the police station looks like real quick. Yeah, that's probably my big issue, is that I just... Like I said, I'm not, not really used to having so little sneaking skill. Now, if you're not familiar, sneaking is how easy it for the zombies to see you. Nimble is how easy it's for you to be able to get out of their grasp, and light-footed is how easy it is for them to hear you. I really dismantled this place. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. So where I thought I saw boots before was right on this shelf. Nope. Nope. Incorrect. It was a different life. Another life. Get out of here. Risk our life for nothing. Oh my gosh, can't see anything. Well. Hmm. 
couldn't find what we're looking for. Spatulas. They should be. They should be in the uh, in the kitchens of homes. But uh, we're already at 36 minutes. I don't want to go too much further with a looting video. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess we're struck out on this one too. I mean, not that this was a bad looting session. It's just just didn't find uh, what we're looking for. So I might have to do another one of these and maybe try to pinpoint where I can find a spatula. Maybe, maybe like a grocery store or something like that or Quickie Mart? I don't know. Just have to keep checking houses. It's it's so funny, like there's always something that you overlook. You know what? Actually, let's check in here real quick. I'll stop at 40 minutes, promise. Let's uh let's get some rest first. Those guys know where I am though. So I'm gonna go a little bit further this way in the complete dark. All right, cool. I'm gonna get some rest, and then uh, we'll get we'll look around here for a little bit. All right, we're up and we're alive. That's the most important thing, right? My cigarettes. I'm not used to having so much junk in here. Now I'm hoping that there might be ooh, a gunshot. I'll kind of pull them away from us. Hopefully, yeah, I don't hear them anymore. Okay, so let's just do. Let's just go look through some stuff. We're looking at S spatula S P. S-P... Oh, there it is! Ah! Oh, so it's a spoon! Ah. Now, is it classified as a wooden spatula? Let me let me double check that. So yeah, the, the, the wooden spatulas, they're called wooden spatulas, they're... So I could use any one of those for uh, what we're trying to do with the fire suit. So S-P and W. We hear a uh, beepy beepy noise. That's another... Um, a radio and a vacuum cleaner and get another steel pipe from What's wrong with that and a survival axe which is terrible no we're running out of space already Got two kilos worth so if I see something nice I'm just gonna throw it on the ground I am not gonna pick it up don't have the room oh here we go oh I was hoping that this would be a regular drawer with uh, some boots in there we could maybe find some boots here too all right seriously slow down S. Nope. S and W. All battery. Stop picking stuff up! If you like it, put it down. Ah, screw it. Don't worry about the, uh... Okay. P. And we should look for boots, too. Mmm. Mm. Spatula! Boom! Oh, we got it! We got one thing that we wanted. Very nice. I was pretty sure they'd be in here. But, uh, yeah. Oh, a calculator too. Sick. I almost missed that. Oh, I would have loved to hear those comments. You idiot. You left a calculator. You need so many calculators. How could you leave one there? And now I'm just primarily looking for boots. Hopefully we'll find some in here. But I don't know. I don't know. Well, clothes seem to be pretty abundant. Like you see a lot of socks and shoes and stuff like that, so boots could be part of this, uh... Could also be part of this, uh, loot table. Yep, I was here before, and I really want that, but I'm not gonna be able to get it. Boots. Boots, boots, boots. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. You're freaking me out, dog. Alright, so we're at 41 minutes. I found the spatula, so I think we're good to go. Don't want to go too much further. There was a hedge cutter. We needed that a little while ago. But looting's so much fun. The problem is we we really do need those boots. We we can't. Oh oh my god, we got them. We got them. Done. All right. So uh, I'll go ahead and here then. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. This is Johnny Onos playing some Project Zomboid version 37 with Hydrocraft. In the next episode, we I, I think I'm going to... Well, it's this is the last episode for the week. So um, I may play a little bit to the point where we have the um, the beehives ready. So I think that's like a week worth of in-game time. In that time, I'll just go ahead and just process all the stuff from the mind over and over and over again. That way we have an abundance of resources from whenever we want to make something next. But once we have the fire suit, oh boy, we're going to be able to build all sorts of crazy stuff. So you guys have a great weekend. I know I will. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Bye.